Hello and thanks for tuning in to another BrailleNote Touch Snapshot video. My name is Greg Stolson. I'm HumanWorks Product Manager of Blindness Products. This is going to be an exciting snapshot video because we're going to do something that has never been able to be done on a, a traditional Braille uh, device uh, like a note taker or something like that. So what we're going to talk about today is being able to utilize some of the power of the Braille Note Touch being a Google certified device. And one of the biggest benefits here is that we are going to edit and modify a Google Doc uh, in the cloud using contracted Braille and doing it all in one device. And that's a really powerful feature. So because the Braille Note Touch is a Bra uh, Google certified device, we have access to the Google Play Store. I've already downloaded Google Docs from the Google Play Store, or it actually comes pre-installed on the Braille Note Touch. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit a shopping list. Uh, myself being a blind individual and my wife being blind as well, what we do is we share a shopping list on Google Doc and whenever we run out of something so that we don't forget that uh, that we need to add it or that we need to buy it the next time, whenever we run out of something with whatever device, whether it's a Braille Note Touch or a phone or a computer, we add that, that uh, product or whatever we've run out of to the Braille note or to the uh, to the Google Doc and that way it's always updated on any device that we have with us at that time when we go to the grocery store. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to update uh, Google our shopping list Google Doc from my Braille Note Touch. So I'm going to hit A for all applications from the main menu here. All applications. And I'm going to press enter. Main menu all apps. Now we're on the main menu, all apps. This is a list of every application that's been downloaded on my Braille Note Touch. Uh, I'm going to press D for Google Docs. Dice World. D again. Docs. And now I'm going to press Enter to go into Google Docs. Docs. Open navigation drawer button. And I'm on the Google Doc right now. Now at this stage, I know this is my Google Docs to my Gmail account that I have here. I'm gonna. I know that somewhere on this screen is a shopping list, and I'm gonna press S to go straight to shopping list. So I'm gonna press S once. Search. S again. Sort by. S again. Shopping list. Google Docs shared open by me. Twelve fifteen. And at this stage, I had no idea where on this screen the shopping list was. And if I was using a touch screen, I would have had to run my finger all over the shop or all over the touch screen to find shopping list, or swipe right a bunch of times until I would have found it. Here, I hit S three times, and I'm right there. So I'm going to activate it by pressing my cursor router key. And now shopping it's list. opening the Google Doc from Very the cloud. Close. And at this point, I'm in my Google Doc now. Top. It's the shopping list Google Doc. And if I press the letter E, edit button. you see there's an edit button somewhere on this screen. I had no clue where it was, but I pressed E, the beauty of first letter navigation. I'm going to press enter here. Edit box. Substituted. And now we are editing, you heard the rising tone, we are now editing the Google Doc. Substituted. And it, and at this stage, the one thing I will tell people is that because Google injects their own accessibility from the cloud, because they're on a whole bunch of different devices for Google Docs, one thing I will recommend you do is turn off speech in most cases. There is a bit of a delay when working on a Google Doc, so I would not say that it's the most efficient use of your time to be editing inside the Google Doc if you're going to do a, like write a page of text or something like that. But what you can do is edit your content in keyword which is completely responsive great with contracted braille all that kind of stuff and just select all the content that you want go into a google doc and paste it with backspace and v and it will go right into your google doc and you've updated it in the cloud so here because i'm not going to be typing a ton of text i'm going to go to the bottom of the document with space four five six bottom paper towels and the last item i see is paper towels i'm going to press enter to add a new line and let's add some dog food so my dog can eat space dog food space and we'll make a new line new line and let's say we need to get milk as well space so now what I've done is I've added a couple items to my Google Doc I'm going to press space with E to exit edit mode so now we're no longer editing, which means that we can use first letter navigation again. And somewhere on this screen is a done button. I'm going to hit D for done. Done. And right there, I'm going to press enter. Done editing. And you hear it say done editing. So now what I've done is I've updated this Google Doc in the cloud. And on my wife's phone or computer or whatever else, she'll be able to see that we now need to buy dog food and milk uh, the next time we go to the store. 
So I hope you found this video useful. We'll jump back to the main menu. And uh, in, in using Google Docs in your everyday life or in your education. And uh, we'll look forward to talking to you soon.